connection between uh, off-road touring and off-road racing, the, the synergies between those two experiences, to me, have, they've always kind of come hand in hand. My love of the outdoors came from off-road racing. My love of off-road racing came from the outdoors. The ability to, to visit the remotest locations in the country and there's one that just stands out that, that it's an adventure every time to get there and whether I'm traveling in a Patriot camp or on my way out to the geographical center of Australia or I'm, I'm racing my 800 horsepower trophy truck uh, through that desert it's we, we get the, the the same feeling we get the same challenges we get the same feeling of, of remoteness when we're out there and um, there's just nothing quite like it. Uh, I, I fell in love firstly with the scenery and the remoteness and the vastness of the desert uh, in Australia and you couple that with you know trophy trucks and off-road race cars coming through that desert when the Fink Desert race is on and the passion just it, it grew immediately and I'm not sure which one really came first whether it was the passion for touring you know the trip getting there and getting back or you know the the, the passion for off-road racing but that's where the two of the those two things collided for me and everything patriot campus has revolved around those two things as as personal targets and, and hobbies for me The ironic thing is the off-road racing might not have made a lot of sense to a lot of people. Um, you know, when Patriot Campers first put the race team together, uh, I don't think that the connection was really seen from the outside, but what we were learning at that time is, as manufacturers of off-road equipment that sure are not subject to, to what a, a trophy truck goes through, but what we learned from the ability of putting something mechanical so intricate together and make it last on a journey like blasting down the desert and heading down into Fink. Um, there's not a lot of mechanical gear that can sustain uh, that sort of punishment for that period of time. And you know, we have the same issues with the race car that we have with the camper trailer. How do we keep dust out of the thing? How do we stop uh, the chassis from cracking? How do we get the maximum out of the suspension travel and the valving to ensure that the ride doesn't punish everything that the uh, camper trailer is riding on. So those two products, they align and they mesh so well that we learn so much from the race team that we apply to the camper trailers and so much from the camper trailers that we apply to the race team. The opportunity came up with Toyota USA once again to join forces with them in the United States after we launched the ST5. We got invited back over to SEMA and I think that's where the, the green light hit really, really hard. This project that I had running around in my head that I wanted to build so bad, all, all I needed, I needed a, a spark, I needed a catalyst to get this thing going. And, that invite, that conversation there with Toyota USA, it was just um, all hands on deck to, to make this creation happen and launch it at SEMA. And, and once again, the, the pride in the business uh, to be put on a worldwide stage, you know, back at SEMA um, with a brand like Toyota USA has just been, you know, I, I said in 2022 that, that we'll never top this. And I, th I think we just have, we've, we've just done it again. And, and once again, to get that recognition from the, from the global industry, you know, for them to want to partner with us and have the ability to launch a product like the Fink Edition uh, on the Toyota booth at, at SEMO is just, I, th I think that sums up um, what this design is really all about. The collaborations um, that we've done on the ST5 Fink Edition project, uh, and particularly uh, with, with companies like uh, Fox Racing, 
and uh, and method wheels have just been a, a big feather in our cap. I think that we're we're, we're making a, we've been making a statement for a very long time by pushing the boundaries of innovation, you know, through Australian manufacturing, and now we're getting global recognition for it. You know, when we reached out to to the partners that have collaborated on this build with us, you know, we had nothing but you know full horsepower of their teams uh, to develop products and and utilise uh, well known products. Um, to really take the, the Fink edition um, to the next level. We're matured, you know, we, we've come a very, very long way. The entire team's come a very long way. And now we, we dream up these concepts and these wish lists that, that you know, they, they keep you up late at night, but when we present the ideas back into the team and, and we figure out the solutions, you know, the wins, win after win after win that you'll see particularly on the ST5, Fink Edition, um, are, are just huge achievements. And I don't, I don't think huge achievements just for Patriot Campers. I think they're huge achievements for the industry and they're huge achievements for our company as a, as a whole. So, um, yeah, I think everything, everything, the full wish list that's been put into uh, the Fink Edition is uh, everything that I could have ever dreamt of and, and probably more way back when I'd, I was even dreaming about starting Patriot Campus. When we talk about the materials uh, in the interior, the Black Alcantara is obviously a, a throwback to very, very high-end sports cars. That's a material that's been used for a long period of time and it's a material that I actually put into the Mega 6. It's a material that, again, it was on my wish list when I was you know, in the inspired for the design of keeping this thing light and keeping it very race high end orientated. I don't think that there was really another selection. The green patterns that you see on the inside um, really complements the exterior. And when we talk about the uh, the exterior wrap, we've gone back to the original Patriot green, the, the original color that that launched the brand, which is the the scheme of my uh, of my race team. You know, the white and the green. Uh, with the new decals, uh, flows and really accentuates, we put a lot of work into accentuating the body lines of the ST5 and really showing off um, those contours. Carbon fibre has been chosen for the interior and this is this is real uh, solid carbon fibre that we've installed here. This is not a, a, a laminate or a layer. Um, it's six coats of, of two-pack clear resin on top uh, to try and protect the carbon fibre. But the aim has been really to keep the weight down and all of the details the engineering team here are consistently chasing kilos out of the ST5, and the Fink Edition we've we've really taken it down to uh, to bare bones as far as ensuring we're keeping the structural integrity. But when it came to the interior, um, there was no other choice. The material this trailer deserved carbon fibre, and when you see the flow through the carbon fibre bench tops uh, into the brass tapware, you know the brass tapware and. Uh, is another design cue that really incorporates the, the wheels from the outside, the bronze on the wheels. But it's really representative of the, the gold anodizing and plating that you see right throughout um, the products uh, that we use on the race team. And even the very, very small details, the limited edition uh, Fink badging that's really neatly embossed into, that, into the table, into the solid carbon fiber, five mil thick carbon fiber uh, table. You know, it's these real, these small details that you know, people people do pick up, they do sense on these things and it gives that that inspiration, that that feel to, to something that's exclusive and something a little bit elite, but with the fundamental core of, of functionality of, of keeping, really driving that weight down on the ST5 Fink Edition. Even to the details of replacing the heavy vinyl floor that's in the standard ST5 uh, into carpet, you know, the carpet, in the ST5 weighs about three kilos versus the vinyl floor that's about 20 odd kilos. So we've, we've really chased every detail, everything that we can do to reduce that weight um, has been a, the primal focus of the Fink Edition. Uh, the canvas has been swapped out uh, to black from our, our standard Patriot grey colour, again, to complement those outside decals and the interior materials. The biggest engineering feat of the ST5, of the entire design, you know, there's a lot of complexities in that design. It's got to be the new Trinamic suspension. Project we've been working on for a very long time on really modernising uh, suspension systems on, on towable items. Now we've achieved 250 millimetres of, uh, of travel uh, and a very, very, very light 
wheel weight uh, when it comes to the Trinamic suspension. So we've gone even a little bit further with the Fink Edition. We've complemented the Trinamic suspension, uh, first of all, with a 35 inch tire as standard for a bigger rolling diameter to now the, enable the trailer um, to get over the big potholes and the ruts. Uh, and that's mounted to a method bead grip uh, wheel, which is methods tried and proven in the off-road racing scene. It's, it's the wheel that I run on on my race cars and uh, and most of the big players in uh, in the US are, are running the method wheels for that reason. They're very, very reliable. But really importantly, we've worked heavily with box racing in the United States and that's that's been amazing so far. Uh, we're offering a 2.0 shock uh, with a remote resi with adjust adjustable compression. So again, you can kind of fine tune the trailer into the terrain that you're traveling on. If you're traveling on the highway, you can stiffen the valving up a little bit and, and stop that body roll a little bit more. And then when you get to off-road, uh, a couple of clickers, uh, you can lighten that valving right off and give the trailer a little bit more flex and a, a little bit more uh, articulation, which gives a much, much softer ride, puts less load uh, on the suspension, but it ensures that everything that you pack into the trailer um, isn't gonna bounce around and everything's gonna ride much, much uh, cleaner on, on the new Fox shocks. Stopping power has also uh, been upgraded from our standard disc brake. We've partnered with Willwood, another really well-renowned uh, brand to give uh, a lot more stopping power to the Fink Edition. The, the, the stopping power when it comes to a trailer is, is very, very important. You know, at the end of the day, you, you're increasing the load on your car. And when it comes to stopping quick, the uh, SD5 Fink Edition is, is gonna do that better than anything else on the market. My well, navigator's main priority outside of, of navigating the truck is, uh, is repairs. You know, when something goes wrong and we're track side, uh, he has to know that vehicle inside out, back to front. He needs to be able to rectify the issue as quickly as possible. And that's been the inspiration for the design of the service module uh, in the ST5. We wanted to enable customers to have the ability to troubleshoot, uh, make repairs, and, and just as importantly, uh, we wanted the ability that you didn't have to have a highly trained technician, you know. We wanted it to be able to be serviced by any automotive uh, mechanic anywhere around the world globally. Um, and the, the inspiration uh, from, again, what we continue to learn through the race team is being engineered directly uh, into the SD5 Fink Edition. The SD5 Fink Edition is a pure representation on where the Patriot Campus brand is at. We've learned so much over the past 10 years and all of the desires of, of what we wanted to apply from what we've learned from our motorsports program has now been put into a to uh, towable item, which is, it's never been done before. You know, this is another first globally for the whole towables industry. To take the inspiration from vehicles that are subject to more punishment than any other mechanical uh, bit of gear that exists on the planet and put that into a, a towable item, I think is gonna give our customers first and foremost the confidence to push a little bit uh, further and maybe even do it a little bit faster than, than you normally would. Um, it proves what's possible in a, in a towable, but I think more importantly, it takes the best that the automotive industry currently offers and wraps it up into a package um, that sits behind your tow vehicle like, like nothing else that the world's ever seen before. I get into my trophy truck, uh, the feeling is indescribable. It is, you feel indestructible. You know, when you're, when you're sitting on that thing and you're strapping in and you're on the start line and you're about to start a journey uh, and every single race is a journey and in the truck, you don't know whether you're gonna get there and you don't know whether you're gonna get home. But one thing that we always learn when we don't get home is, is, is we, we always investigate the reason why and we always learn something as a race team and we apply all of that knowledge back into the engineering team. The engineering team that are responsible for, for taking care of my truck are the same team that are responsible for designing the Patriot Campus product. And that's where the alignment of the two has been so valuable behind the scenes. You know, we learn so much from off-road racing that we apply into the products that, that our customers 
you know, in trust in us um, that their products will always make it back home. And the irony of the Fin Condition is when I dreamed up the SD5, this is what I dreamed of. This product, the Fin Condition, this, is, this was everything. This was everything that I had, everything that I've learned, wrapped up in 10 years over Patriot Campus, all the experiences, all of the wins, all of the losses was this was the level of camper trailer that I wanted to produce from day one of Patriot Campers. This trailer might not be for everyone. You know, the, the standard, the ST5 in its standard form has in some respects been designed to, to cater to a more wider market. This is a very, very specific product. And if people were to ask me, what is the pinnacle of towables? What is the pinnacle of what Patriot Campers can produce? Uh, I don't have any more in me than this. To me, this product is absolutely perfect. From SEMA, the ST5 Fink Edition build number one, which is actually mine. It'll be living in the United States for, for 12 months. Uh, I will be bringing that one uh, back to Australia. That is, that's that's number one, and, and that one will be living in my garage. We're only gonna be building a limited uh, number of these, but they're obviously available to order out of Las Vegas, and, and of course, at Patriot HQ on the Gold Coast.